Hello, this is Mr. Beck. This series of tutorials is designed for my 8th grade Android programming class. Uh, at this point, we've learned to interface Eclipse with Android. Um, if you can execute uh, a program or an Android application from Eclipse and get it to run within an emulator or on a physical device, um, if you are a beginner with uh, the Android operating system, this may be a good set of tutorials to work through. What we're going to do in this video is we're going to work with the action bar on top. We're going to work with uh, some user interface elements. We're going to stack buttons on top of a canvas here. And I think the buttons will do things like change the style of our paint object or maybe the size of our paint object. And up here along the top for the action bar, we'll probably have some icons that will do things like modify the color of the paint object and clear the screen. Okay, so that's where we're headed with this. Um, in this video, I'm just going to talk about how to get the starter, the starting project. And uh, we're just going to take a look at what's available within that project. Okay, so um, if you go to my GitHub account here, which is github.com slash Android teacher, this is what it looks like right now. Our school district recently made GitHub uh, a lot easier to use. So um, I've started using that with my class. Didn't used to be this easy. It used to have all kinds of elements that were blocked and stuff, but this is great. So uh, you'll find somewhere on my GitHub account a program called Paint Demo. Um, it, you should have eGit installed within Eclipse. And uh, you go ahead and just import this project into Eclipse from GitHub. If you're not sure how to do that, Take a minute and uh, research up how to install eGit with Eclipse. And uh, once you've got all that set up, it's very easy to pull uh, projects from GitHub into Eclipse and then run them on an emulator that are Android based. So uh, here we are, and I'm just going to talk about uh, what's I've already done that. And you should uh, have Paint Demo then sitting in your Eclipse workspace. If you're in my class and you have a problem with that, uh, please let me know, and we'll work it out so that we can get that project situated. Okay, so there are three classes here. There's a main activity, and I'm just going to talk about what's inside of our classes right now, our important classes. Canvas thread, don't worry about. Okay, we're not going to modify that at all. Um, we have main activity, and we have panel. Okay, and it's important to recognize two things here. All right, inside of main activity, we are going to recognize touch events all right and we'll every time the user touches the screen we'll be gathering x and y coordinates using on touch event which is something we've already done in class at this point and we'll be now working with the action bar okay and this is on create option menu down here this uh, sets up our action bar it sets up the icons that appear at the top of the application and once again when I say action bar I'm referring to this everything that appears above the blue line here okay we can set icons up here and uh, they will have specific functionality all right uh, we'll be setting that up and responding to events there within the main activity class. So this main activity class kind of has the function of collecting input from the user. All right, that's what it does. And uh, the panel class now, okay, this is a view that's set up. And if you want to see how this panel class is referenced and why it works, okay, you go to the layout folder and you take a look at activity underscore main dot XML inside of the layout folder. Take a look at that and you'll see how I'm referencing this panel class. This panel class has one primary function, okay? On draw. It is a canvas that we are drawing to, okay? And we have a paint object, and we're going to modify that paint object to do different things. Now, on draw is executed in rapid succession um, within an Android application like this, okay? It happens over and over again. It's a, it's a screen refresh, right? Um, so you can think in terms of uh, frames per second here. That's how quickly OnDraw is being executed. And uh, so this is kind of like, it's a loop, all right, that uh, occurs over and over again. And what I have set up at the top of the class is I have a paint object, okay? And here's what this paint object does, okay? We're using the method set alpha 
red, green, blue, A, R, G, B. 255 means it's not transparent at all. That's our alpha, okay? 255 in the R section here, that's for red. So this has got 255 in red, and then green and blue are zero. So this is drawing a red dot right now. Alpha, red, green, blue. Um, so our paint object, it, hasn't, it isn't drawing at this point, but we're setting the paint up so that it's a certain color. Very simple, okay? So we're setting the paint object at every time there's a refresh to a specific color, okay? Um, and then we're at the end of the draw method right now. We are drawing a circle. And the draw circle method has a couple different arguments. This is the x coordinate that we're drawing at. This is the y coordinate that we're drawing at. This is the radius of the circle. And this is the paint object we're going to use to draw the circle. So we have a red circle, right, that's being drawn with a radius of 30. And it's being drawn at the coordinate 200, 200. All right. And you can see here that that's what we have, a red circle, 30 in radius, drawn at 200, 200. When I click on the screen, absolutely nothing happens. All right. So that is the, uh, the gist of this particular program. Uh, in the next video, we're going to go in and we're going to start to make some changes to it. Uh, the first change we're going to make is we're going to modify this so that when the user touches the screen, it draws another circle where the user has touched the screen. So thanks for watching video one. You'll find video two linked underneath this video, or you can go to the web page that is referenced here uh, to find the complete series. Thank you for watching.